Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got a 5 amp hour red lithium M18 battery. One flash of light. One up power at all, it won't even light the LED. And we put it in the charger. It's giving you Milwaukee Christmas. That's not a good thing. That means the battery's something wrong with it. So that's just over 13 volts, which is far too low to power at all, and it's not even high enough for the charger to recognize it to charge it. It needs to be over 16 and a half volts, around 17 would be nice. Could jump start this from another battery, however, I would like to open it and see what's going on first before we we'll dive in with that. Well, looking at the top, I can't see any broken connections, so we're going to have to dive in deeper. Out of the casing, it's this bank of cells in the end that it's a problem. They're well down the voltage. These other ones are all up around 3 volts. Over 3 volts is good. Usually if you're as low as that there, there's usually no way back. Uh, there's usually no way back for the like of that. That's that's history there. So what I have to do is replace those two cells in the end to make this work again. As good old lady luck would have it, of this old DeWalt 5 amp hour battery, which I've rubbed a couple of cells out already. And it appears on first glance, I don't know they have the right to see, but anyway, it appears to have a couple of viable cells in there. So I'm going to pull them out and replace them into this Milwaukee. By the way, lithium ion cells are dangerous. You might want to think before you do what I'm doing here because you can puncture them and cause yourself all sorts of problems fire, explosion, etc, you know, but I like to live dangerously, I like to live in the edge. So that's the two LG cells installed now, where we've got a spot weld and a little bit of soldering. Be careful soldering around cells. 
I would say don't solder on cells if you can avoid it. Sometimes I like to put a wee patch of solder on to make sure it sticks properly, make sure it doesn't come loose. So we still get the one flashing light. But before we put this together, I'm going to try and do a voltage test to see how we are of any improvement. And there's a significant improvement there, 16.9 volts. That should take a charge now. So I'm going to try it in the charger, see what happens. Right, that is now charging, so we'll leave that on a while to see how it does. This is showing us fully charged, but that's not right because it's still showing one flashing light. Still won't power it too. Even though it's showing 18 volts. What I'm going to have to do to get this to work is put a brand new circuit board on it. So here's the brand new knockoff board that we're going to prep for the job. So that's the board prepped with all the nickel strip connectors. Right, taking the top off this again. What we're going to have to do is remove the old board.
Right, that's a new board on now, so we'll just have to put it together. And the battery is charging, but we're just going to have to wait. Got 19.8 volts now in the fully charged battery, which is not perfect, but not bad. And if we put it in a drill, so that's been a complete success. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my channel.